This is a sampling of the special delivery video. A must-have resource for all breeders. Hi, my name is Catherine Lord, and I want to welcome you to the wonderful world of puppies. I have been a breeder of standard schnauzers for 25 years and have produced many breed ring champions. In this video, we are going to help you understand what's involved in having a litter. I'm going to show you an actual delivery, followed by the steps of weaning, then a question and answer period with veterinarian Dr. Rick Kunze, ending with the breeder's discussion that will cover many topics. Now, let's go inside and begin. By now you should know your bitch is pregnant. It is recommended that you assemble your whelping box one to two weeks in advance so that your bitch can become accustomed to sleeping in it. I'd like to suggest a few products that you might want to have on hand. These or similar products are what we feel you should have on hand. You might want to consult with your veterinarian. You ought to be prepared to be home three to four days prior to the delivery. The gestation period is normally 63 days. Sometimes a bitch will come earlier, sometimes a few days later. Watch your bitch. You know her best. She should be on a diet high in protein and calcium along with a vitamin supplement. Every breed is different. The delivery has begun. The bitch is into heavy labor. She's doing a lot of heavy panting, a little shivering, this is very normal. She's cold and frightened. I do want to mention that I do put my bitches on raspberry tea as soon as I know that they are pregnant. It's, it does seem to help in the delivery. Here you're seeing her pant very heavily, and now there is a contraction. The contractions will usually be followed by some continued nesting and shredding and digging. This is all very normal. That is another hard contraction. She will be resting in between. Please note that the breast is now free of hair so that the puppies can get to the nipples easily. On this particular delivery, the first contraction began at 2.15. The first puppy arrived at 3.15. Here you'll see I'm comforting the bitch, rubbing her stomach a little bit. That is another contraction. You want to reassure your bitch. She's scared, especially if this is her first litter. That is another contraction. Don't be surprised as as that puppy comes down the canal, if your bitch lets out a scream. This is normal. The puppy has just come down. It is in the birth canal. As it is delivered, it will stretch the birth canal, which will hurt. The puppy has come out. You want to let it continue to to deliver naturally. Don't pull it out. This puppy is still in its sack. The body has come through, the feet, back feet first. The head is still being delivered. And there is the head. The puppy is still connected to the umbilical cord and the afterbirth. You want to let that also deliver naturally. Do not pull it out. The first thing you want to do is get the sack away from the head and the mouth area so that that puppy can start breathing on its own. Dr. Kunze, we have just seen the delivery of a litter where all went fairly well. However, breeders always say, call your vet when the bitch has had contractions for a long time. How long is long, 
and how severe should the contractions be? Okay, let's start off with the three stages of labor. Because the first stage of labor usually occurs within 24 hours before the birth of the puppies. The first stage of labor, the bitch gets restless. She starts to build a nest. She'll often start to pant. Sometimes they'll even throw up. Okay, so if a bitch vomits, it doesn't mean that she's sick. The puppies are now three and a half weeks old, and it's time to start weaning them. You won't do a complete weaning until they're almost five and a half to six weeks of age, but you need to start getting them off of the mother. The mother is beginning to have sore breasts. The puppies have started to develop teeth. We are now at the stage where the puppies are eating solid food. Initially, we grind the food in a blender. I like to use a kibble that is small in size and easy for the puppies to chew. I also like to add two or three tablespoons of canned meat and hot water, mixing it well. <laughs> Let's begin today by giving us your name, your kennel, and the type of dog you breed. Linda? I'm Linda Gadice, Tanamichi Yakitas, and this little girl here is Kana. She's 11 weeks old with her little brother here is Ricky. I'm Helen Shu, Lytho Dalmatians, babysitting for Ricky. I'm Gordon Souza, Breezy Labradors. I've had Labradors for 20 years. And this little guy, my kids are calling Simba. He's a yellow Labrador Retriever and he's seventh generation now of our breeding. Mm -hmm. I'm Betty McDonald and I raise Newfoundlands. I've been doing it since 19... 64, and I have with me a three and a half month old puppy called Annie. I'm Kathy DiGiacomo, and I'm Cathan Maltese. I've been breeding Maltese for about 20 years. This is, uh, this is a six year old Maltese. It's not a puppy. His name is Champion Cathan Fable Little Star. We name all the dogs after rock and roll records from the 50s and 60s, so that's how he got his name. And I now also judge Maltese. <laughs> My name is Susan Patman. I'm a second generation dog breeder. Um, our kennel name is Charter. And this is my dog, Tom. And he's champion Jacques' attribute. And we have had Cocker Spaniels for, since 1964. Okay. Now, you've all seen the delivery on the video. Uh, what kind of problems do you encounter and what kind of things do you do to make the delivery easier? Anyone? Well, there are many different things that can make a bitch deliver easier. This has been a sampling of the special delivery video, which runs for 90 minutes and is perhaps the most important whelping resource we can offer. Call 1-800-998-3331 or go to breederbase.com.